The Jim reportedly. Harbaugh situation has made even uh, Mr. Michigan himself, John Jansen, a little, I don't know over the word, uh, upset, squeamish. Yeah. It's it's getting Frustrated, ridiculous. exhausted. Yes. Uh, what do you think is going to happen, and how do you think this should be handled? Well, um, of course, nobody likes the way it's being handled. And, uh, and I, I would say, well, people are used to it, but they're not. And... Um, and they shouldn't be necessarily. I, but I don't think it's freak out panic stage. Um, it's only been, what, uh, 10 days removed from the end of the season. And I, until I see or hear of a legitimate NFL offer for Harbaugh, I'm going to assume that he's coming back. It's just an exploratory thing. I think there's probably a little bit of a leverage play going on here. Um, I think Jim Harbaugh wants to be loved by the, the people that employ him. And, and I know what you're saying. Well, his contract is already big. And I don't even think it's necessarily about the money. I think it's about all the other things around maybe an assistant coach's uh, money pool, maybe more commitment to NIL. Um I'm not saying it's all leverage. I still think he does have the NFL itch and whatever. But I, think about this. I don't know if people think about it. The NFL is a billion-dollar enterprise, right? And these billion-dollar teams, are they really going to turn over their most important public position to somebody that they well they haven't even talked to in person yet or somebody with kind of you know quirky, although at times brilliant, persona as Harbaugh is that is that really going to happen well I mean you, you look at his track I mean in terms of you know doing everything virtually or not meeting him in person no I, I I don't think so but just in terms of his track record I mean at San Francisco it, his track record in the NFL is good three oh, years yeah. uh, three out of four years in an NFC championship game took him to the Super Bowl oh I I could definitely see why teams would be interested and I can see why Harbaugh you know, probably doesn't mind the attention. I just think when when push comes to shove, uh, that's I think that's going to be a difficult connect, connection to make. And and he also, when push comes to shove, he's going to remember, oh, I have a team that might be ranked second or third in the country at the start of next year with a great offense, seemingly ready to go again. But why does he? Why do, why do people accept his contradictions? I mean, last year he said this is it was a one-time thing and all that. Why don't he just say, you know what? Stick with your, you know, stick with what you say for once. God. Well, well, he did also say no man knows the future. That was so, after that was after he said last year at this time. Blake Horm does. Yeah, Blake Horm does. Yeah, that's future. true. Good point. No, and 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 obviously it didn't prevent Blake Corum from coming back. Listen, nobody li- likes it, but if you're going to accept all the quirks and oddities of Harbaugh to beat Ohio State twice and win the Big Ten, you know, as long as as long as they reach a logical conclusion conclusion relatively quickly, I don't think it's uh, that harmful. I, but it, I absolutely what, understand. What's your, what's your relatively quickly story. timeline? Um, I'd say within a week. Okay. All okay. right. I mean, and now if it goes beyond that, then, I mean, you do have the second signing day right. coming up, recruiting signing day, and and I suppose that could be an issue. And, and again, I'm not, I'm just trying to explain it. I don't like it. Nobody likes it. Michigan fan, a lot of Michigan fans don't like it. But I also hear from a lot of Michigan fans who say, Listen, they they can't let him go. I mean, do what it takes. And to which probably Ward Manuel says, well, he has a contract. Um, an NFL team hasn't offered him anything. What am I bidding against right here? And he, and he can't give him a raise right now when he's under NCAA investigation. No, probably not. And that's the other thing that complicates things. And, and maybe Harbaugh didn't really realize how that would be and maybe he didn't think that would affect his "quote unquote" leverage or whatever, but yeah, that's troubling too. Very troubling. Or what does the contract say about exploring other options while you're under contract? <laughs> he has to alert the um, the athletic director or the school, and I assume, I, I assume he has alerted them, right? Yeah. I mean, it's out there public. I, yeah. I guess I assume he has. 
Since he's doing um, the interviews from uh, Shembeckler Hall.